is Margaret again from Emmy's Orchids. Welcome. And what am I going to do today? Well, I was going to have a rest day, but then I wake up and a project comes to mind. So, um, what it is today is that um, uh, this is the little bedroom now come uh, grow space for my orchids. And uh, like I've explained before, this window faces south. And if I turn that way, that would be east. Oops, sorry, a bit fast. And if I turn that way, that's west. So if you look at the shelving I've got, um, the weight, the way the uh, the gaps are in the height, I've got a, a not too bad a decent gap there. But then the light level drops on that lower one. But as you can see, as the sun comes in, the sun comes in from the east and it's hitting that shelf there um, and it uh, of course we're coming into autumn now here in England and uh, so the light levels diminishing uh, week by week by a quarter of an hour um, so what light I've got I want to try and capture that uh, for the orchids that require higher light so what I thought I'd do today is looking at this set of shelving here um, I've got this shelf here which has got a lot of depth to it and uh, so I've decided to um, to move this shelf this sh this shelving here um, over to this shelf here and reverse that way uh, so that will then give me, me a lot more scope. Um, let me take you around again. Um, to bring these cat layers over. Uh, as, as I say again, I've got a larger shelf here. Um, than I've got over here. So, um, so I better get on with it and uh, get these uh, orchids settled in for the autumn and for the winter to come. Um, so bear with me folks. Now as we know it's all in the preparation. So as you can see, I've cleared the shelves so far on this side and I shall uh, give this carpet a, a good oeuvring and believe it or not I've just moved 62 orchids. I shall bring the, uh, the measuring uh, tape up now and uh, I shall just uh, take measurements and uh, see how I'm best uh, positioning some of these orchids. Whew. I tell you, it's hard work. And look at the carpet. It's not until you move something that you think, oh my god, look at all that dust. Anyway, uh, I've got the tape measure there. And uh, a stage is a time, that's all I can say. And here's the landing. It's only a little landing. And there's the shelving. There's the hoover ready. But it's time for a tea break. Now I don't usually do the hoovering. I don't do the washing. The ironing. Or the cleaning. Well I might just titivate now and again. My husband does all that for me, and uh, he's a gentleman. Um, so I've uh, I've cleaned this side of the windows. Oh, there's always noise, and I've got the other window wide open. Sorry about that. And I've wiped the windowsill down, and uh, I'm just going to put some of the shelving back now. Yeah, my husband always says when I take the ironing board out or the Uber out, he always says to me, "Now do you know how to use it?" Well, sometimes I don't, but never mind. 
It's so good when you've got a husband who's, uh, who does most of the household chores for you. Just hold on. So you start a job and, well, I'm only just going to move this or I'm only just going to move that. And, and before you know where you are, you're moving the whole damn room around. And uh, I've just suddenly thought, I called my husband up from downstairs and I said, well, what do you think if I do it this way? And uh, let's just take you around here because there's still room there to open this window. And uh, those are the other shelves there. I never, I said if I could have like three in a row here and uh, if need be, I can keep this, uh, put this shelf over here and um, this little area here, um, I would be free to put my little table. And um, he's a gentleman. He didn't actually say the words, you can do what you like, but if you get my drift. So, um, now you see where I'm coming from. Look at all this extra space. I've got these shelves set so the cat layers can get the extra light there. And then I've got the medium light, some of the low light. I've got this space here in which to walk around. And then I've got the other set of shelving there, which has got quite high a space on the top. And then I've got this space here. Well, that's of course in the future. That could be utilised with another shelf. But I don't push my luck today. Um, so I'm just going to um, finish tidying up now, put some of the uh, orchids in the place and that one up here, this little one here, I'm just uh, placing that and I thought oh hello what's that on the leaves, little white bubbles so that's just had the hydrogen peroxide and uh, like with Roger You've got to check your orchids constantly. So, um, I'm going to fill these shelves up as best I can and then uh, I'll show you the finish. I'm exhausted. Five hours later, it's finished. So, uh, the sun has now moved over. So the afternoon sun is it in this shelf here. And uh, as you can see, if I just step over here, um, my husband moves the uh, two trays. And on that one, I've hung uh, one of the fowls. These are the dendrobiums. And uh, that's that little, uh, little um, Lelia or Tomalis. That's the Nelliform there. And uh, that's, uh, the Sedira Japonica because she's got an inflorescence on. I've tried not to disturb her too much, um, but the sun, the windowsill is clear at the moment, and uh, it may be a little bit awkward with the light here now. But um, they will get the sun on this shelf. Um, oh, I've uh, I've put that little one in that uh, terracotta pot. So uh, she doesn't have to be disturbed now, she can romp away and uh, the others are all there. Let's just go down a little bit. Um, these are just some that are, are just struggling at the moment but that's the little one in isolation. I'm not so sure whether I want to keep that uh, fimbriata that low down 
but she'll do for today and uh, I've been able to uh, position the fells and the bulba file in there um, let's go this way on this one for the light um, this is one I did the other day um, if you remember this one I'd got two spikes on uh, there are really no IDs but I've, what I've done is uh, I've graveled these two and put them together. See, they've got viable tips there. And uh, that's an upright one, but she'll send her inflorescence next year forward. And uh, this one has, has been a bit bent, but she's already sitting forward. Now, I've put the, um, the big ones, the tall ones at the back. Um, I've managed to get the uh, humidifier virtually in the same place. There's just this one here. That's the other no. That's the other species selogeny. Um, I'm not sure whether she's staying there. Um, that's that nice one I've uh, put on the log. That's another selogeny. Um, the species up there. Oh, my husband's moved um, moved that basket um, and put it up here for that big no ID file. And uh, that's the top shelf. There's the big white one. She's uh, she's not moved a lot really. There's the other shelf with the um, cat layers, and there's two there just uh, on mounts. So, uh, let's see if I can get it this way. Nope, the light's still at me. Uh, let's take it from this side. Oops, sorry. So, um, there's the light down there. I've just switched it on at the moment. And uh, some of the um, species fowls are there. And uh, there we go. So as you can see, I've got loads of empty shelves. And they're really not packed in that much. So um, loads of empty shelves means more orchids. Mm. Now that's a thought, isn't it? I better not mention that to my husband today. He's glad I'm going back to work tomorrow to give him some peace. But uh, just shows you when you change your room round. There's the uh, oscillating fan. When you change your room round, it's surprising how you can create even more space. And uh, when I do some of my videos, I should be able to come up here and sit in comfort. So I, I hope I haven't bored you Ridgy today because it's been a long video and it's been a long day for me so I'll have to be a gin and tonic later. So uh, thanks ever so much for joining me and uh, from me to you, enjoy your orchids and have a good day. Bye now.